All right, JJ, bro, how you doing, JJ? Doing good, man. All right, so back on the All Star break, what do the Mavs have to do to keep going forward to get deep into the playoff line? Oh, we're doing good. We just gotta stay together as a team, you know, keep getting better, keep working on defense, you know, and uh, just get it. Try to win every game we can, you know. Just, just we can't take you no know, nice off and and try to get it here in, in a good rhythm. All right, did you get a chance to watch any of the All Star events? I watched some of it. Yeah. Did you watch the dunk contest? Yes. What did you think about that? Oh, I knew, I knew. I was, I spent some time in preseason with Sack over there in uh, in Minnesota, so I knew he he was gonna he was gonna pull it off, and he did a great job. All right, so a lot of fans want to know: doing an All Star break, what do NBA players like to do? <laughs> what, what did you do? Like just rest? Oh, uh, just chill, just relax, uh, spend time with family. <laughs> I went home and just relax, got to get away from it for a little bit, and then go back to work. All right. Um, I was a trade deadline came. You guys were able to acquire Mario Stoudemire, a known vet in the NBA. Um, during the trade deadline, is it like a exciting thing for the players? I know it's a little hard because you don't know if, if your name is called to be traded, but is that an exciting thing for the players, just like the fans as well, to see who's coming? No, right for the players, it's not that exciting. But uh, yeah, you never know what's going to happen, uh, so you got to be ready for whatever. But yeah, it's not as exciting as for the fans. It's more exciting for the fans <laughs> than for the players. All right, so last but not least, I see you have something special down there for Sneaker Watch. I see the shoes down there. You want to show those off to us? Oh, yeah, yeah some Kyrie. They're comfortable. Uh, it's a good look, so 